The proposed electric light rail transportation system in Kumasi is amongst the railway projects Ghana is looking at to modernize the country with hopes of introducing new and efficient transport systems in the coming years. Affordable and efficient transportation is one of the most essential and demanded services in the world. And in today's video, I would be informing you on Ghana's impressive upcoming electric railway project that will revolutionize and ensure that all of its precious citizens get access to quality, affordable and state-of-the-art transportation service no matter where they are in the country. Stick to this video to the end to know more about the proposed impressive and monumental project that would not only ease the lives of countless Ghanaians but would also modernize the country after it's realized. Before we begin as always i would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel let's get right into it ghana's transportation crisis has been shaped by hectic traffic congestions poor road conditions reckless driving amongst many other factors this has been a catastrophic problem for the nation's development there have been long traffic jams in rush hours road accidents and poor travel conditions hindering the productivity in the nation this has led to many proposed alternatives and now, the electric light rail system is in planning to be built in Kumasi as the government now aims to build railway systems across the country. Doubts of its feasibility has been squashed as the railway project from Ghana to Burkina Faso, once doubted, has commenced with a magnificent railway bridge going across the Volta River, giving a sense of seriousness on the railway development in the country. Not everyone has been informed about the devastating accidents, road congestions, and pollution when moving on Ghanaian roads. Road injury is amongst the top 10 causes of deaths in the country. One report suggests that about $230 million is spent annually on emergency and trauma care associated with motor accidents alone. This has in turn led to many people buying their own cars as soon as they can afford instead of using the public bus transport which explains the increasing amount of vehicles and also why most Ghanaians are feeling the heat from Ghana's own growing fuel surges more than others. The effects of this failing transportation system doesn't end there. Heavy traffic jams don't just undermine productivity, they also contribute to deadly respiratory diseases and serious environmental damages. All these detrimental factors have molded the road transport sector into its present problematic state and government who isn't pleased with these turns of events came up with this spectacular solution. As stated earlier, the solution is none other than building the railway system across the entire country and this elaborate and ultra modern railway system which would kickstart in Kumasi forms a part of it. This futuristic electric light rail project also known as a tram system is one of the sophisticated systems of transport found in many developed parts of the world. A tram called a streetcar or trolley in North America is a rail vehicle that travels on tramway tracks on public urban streets. This innovative project, which would provide comfortable, affordable and quality transport services, is also intended to decongest traffic in vital areas in the country, drastically reduce travel time and expand the mode of transport currently available in Ghana. The plan for this innovative and essential project has already been drawn up and the good news is that Kumasi is set to become the first city in the country to have the electric light rail transportation installed for its inhabitants. This groundbreaking announcement was made known by Dr. Kaulai, who is the CEO and chairman of the board of directors of Knights AS, the company going to handle the development of this remarkable project. According to Dr. Lai, when he spoke at the company's 25th anniversary at Accra, the tram system would operate on four main lines aimed to decongest the city of Kumasi and pave way for easy flow of traffic. He added that to make the project a success, there is need for a massive transfer of know-how to indigents who will manage the tram system when built. So in this regard, 9th AS, which is from the Czech Republic, has facilitated the signing of an MOU between the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and Czech Technical University to enable Ghanaian professors and technicians to be trained in the Czech Republic. After this training, he is certain that trained engineers would 
would have enough knowledge on how to operate and maintain the tram system for ages to come, improving the maintenance culture and proper handling of equipment. Such a remarkable project is one of the essential projects this nation needs to tackle its transportation problems. If developed properly, this system can commute not just people seeking affordable transportation, but can also efficiently transport foodstuffs from one place to the other over a short period of time. The tram system is also going to alleviate the pressure amount on the shoulders of Chocho drivers who often resort to aggressive driving and speeding to make up for lost time in traffic and thus resulting in some deadly accidents. This game-changing project is going to add to the other innovative road projects and railway constructions which are ongoing in the nation. More information on this mega electric tram construction project when made available would be relayed immediately on this channel. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of these. Also, check out this video next on the railway developments from Takrade to Kumasi. That will blow your mind. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.